flying. It is said to be one of the most rewarding and freeing experiences a person can have. Piloting takes this to an entirely new level. Uh, my flying specifically was just about recreational flying. My wife got me a gift certificate, knew that I flew a bunch commercially and I, I liked being up in the air. Uh, and then was just about, uh, you know, really just doing recreational flying and so that's what originally got me into it. Whether I'm flight instructing or flying aerobatics or whether I'm flying corporate or flying for the airlines, I've enjoyed all of it. Yet, in recent years, piloting has become one of the least pursued careers in the nation. With costs of training and pure difficulty in getting licensed, for some, the effort is not worth the reward. I think that airplane parts are getting more and more expensive, and airplanes are getting more and more expensive to operate, as well as airplanes are getting more and more expensive to insure. And I think that there's a lot of training required to, to be eligible to be able to do the duties of a commercial pilot or an airline pilot. I would say I have tied up about 30 grand, and that's a third of what somebody would have tied up into it today, or less. I think liability is the number one factor, uh, just insurance, liability, regulations, uh, the amount of uh, money that it takes for companies to uh, get uh, products covered you know, through the FAA and all the testing makes the, the cost of aircraft and parts and everything. Uh, go way up. In 2013, the FAA created a new requirement for airline pilots. It said, the rule requires first officers, also known as co-pilots, to hold an airline transport pilot or ATP certificate, requiring 1,500 hours total time as a pilot. This is a 600% increase of hours from the previous 250, meaning that potentially, the cost of training could be in excess of over $100,000. The cost of pursuing a private pilot license probably deter, deters a lot of young people from uh, attempting to get a license because of the hourly rate that's charged. Uh, I think the rental rate on an airplane with the fuel, and uh, that's not very economical. Regional airlines, where most pilots start their careers, only pay around twenty to twenty-five thousand um, dollars. I think. I think just the cost of training. I think when you look at entry-level pay for pilots, uh, when you're looking at um, expensive training being comparable to you know, maybe doctors or something like that, and the amount of debt that they might come out with, and then the entry-level positions being in the probably the low twenties just to even get started. I think that looking at needing to do that for a long time to to get out of debt, I, I think I think cost of training and, and low salaries are probably some of the biggest ones that would keep them out early on. For many people, achieving the dream of soaring through the clouds is worth all the effort. It, it, it is worth it to fly. Um, if there was some other, something else I could do for a living and, and, and still be able to fly for fun as much as I fly now, then maybe. But I would say that the reason I fly for a living is because I enjoy flying so much. I, I would recommend that anybody getting into this career, that if in a short amount of time, if, if that person not be absolutely passionate about flying for a living, then I would not recommend this career for someone. I, I, think, I think still the nostalgia and the thrill of aviation and just a, a rich aviation heritage in, in the United States. My brother, when we were probably four or five, mom, we used to buy us these little airplane models. I can remember making an airplane. My brother and I just making one after another. So we started doing that and then we went to making, uh, got a little older, making flying models. We started flying those and then my brother went on into the Marine Corps program and he learned to fly and upon exiting the Marine Corps he became a commercial airline flight. I always say he fulfilled all of my dreams. Uh, he got all of his aviation training free, I had to pay for buying, so uh, that's how one thing just kind of led to another. Knowing that, that it's something that only a few people, you know, they'll use the statistic that you're more likely to get struck by lightning than become a pilot. I mean, 600,000 pilots in the U.S., you know, I think it's to be part of that rare breed, somebody that doesn't normally aspire to them. Right now, I believe that the openings in the aviation community are up. And there seem to be jobs out there. I think for a young person, the, the route they have to go is through the private sector to get their license and get their ratings and get enough hours. If one can do that, I think they got a great opportunity for a career in commercial aviation. 
it's a great career for me. It's all I know how to do. It's really all I want to do uh, just because I enjoy the work itself so much.